Desium sends a fragrance bouquet, Judy calls to a homeland far away, and Ulta looks like they might have to pay. I'm Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, and What's Up In Makeup starts now. Welcome to What's Up In Makeup for March 11th, 2018. Let's get started with the top industry news. As makeup sales continue to grow, brands are facing increasing challenges. A market research report by analysis company Technavio revealed that the highest demand is for natural and organic ingredients in products, while the largest challenge lies in the growing availability of counterfeit products. The report states that consumers are more willing to pay for luxury products that instill confidence in quality and performance. However, this also means that counterfeits are aiming to provide the same look for less, often with the sacrifice to ingredients and safety. To be safe, you may want to always purchase makeup from authorized retailers and brands to avoid fake products. Canadian Olympic gold medalist Tessa Virtue has been named the next face of Nivea Canada. On her Instagram, she said, Working with an iconic brand like Nivea is an exceptional honor. I adore the products, and I love that the company is all about feeling good in your skin. The 28-year-old recently retired figure skater can now add skincare ambassador to her resume, along with her jewelry line and eyewear collection. Christian Louboutin has paired up with Spanish company Puig in a long-term agreement to design beauty products. No word yet on what is the come, but Le Bouton reports Puig will be able to develop my vision of beauty according to the brand values. A mistake by an agency acting on behalf of L'Oreal forced the brand to apologize to Khadija Khan, aka Emerald X Beauty, a beauty blogger who focuses on skincare and makeup for acne-prone skin. She was booked for a L'Oreal hair dye campaign by an agency, but later received an email that they could not work with her due to her skin issues. L'Oreal claims Khan was booked due to a misunderstanding between the company and the agency. When asked for comment by Cosmopolitan, a L'Oreal representative stated, the photo shoot was designed to support a new hair color launch and feature hairdressers and lifestyle bloggers. Unfortunately, a misunderstanding resulted in the agency casting bloggers with skin concerns for the shoot. Actress Laura Dern, known for her roles in Jurassic Park, Star Wars, and Big Little Lies, has scored her first beauty role. She will represent Kate Spade in their next fragrance campaign. Campaign. Titled In Full Bloom, the fragrance campaign features Dern, Sashir Zamata, formerly on SNL, and Tavi Jevonson, who you may remember as the blogger style rookie. In the ad, they are writing love letters to themselves and describing the scent. Law firm Pomerantz LLP officially filed a class action lawsuit against Ulta on March 2nd regarding their alleged practices of reselling used and returned makeup to unassuming customers. Those who believe they were subjected to the practice between March 30th, 2016, and February. 13th, 2018, are encouraged to join the class action lawsuit and describe their experience via an online form. We will try to have that form linked down below in the video description. Something new is on the horizon. The Brushing Brush Sanitizer works while you are away from your vanity. The battery-operated canister uses UVC LED technology to sanitize your brushes in just five minutes and will keep them dust-free when not in use. It boasts being able to hold up to 20 brushes. Sound interesting? Support Brushing on their All or Nothing Kickstarter campaign with backer options starting at $30. The Kickstarter campaign ends on March 29th. Department store JCPenney is relying heavily on store salons and Sephora boutiques to boost their revenue. There are Sephora boutiques in 642 of its stores currently, with up to 27 more being added this year. Retail analyst Oliver Chen told NBC in an interview, Sephora is a jewel for JCP, helping drive foot traffic into the stores. Sephora boutiques and salons are placed strategically next to women's apparel and jewelry, encouraging what JCPenney representatives call cross-shopping. They hope this arrangement will encourage beauty shoppers to increase sales of their more traditional items. Well, Brandon Truax is back this week, but thankfully not for drama. He and the Desium team are expanding their businesses in a new way. They plan to launch a conceptual fragrance line branded Avistan. The line will include perfumes, candles, and body products with unusual scents such as a tannery in Tuscany, Budapest, and tent in Tanzania. Your guess is as good as ours what those might smell like. 
<laughs> but they are packaged in minimal bottles and glassware. No word on the launch date yet, but we'll continue to share information as it becomes available. Amore Pacific owned brand Mamond has arrived at Ulta. The K-Beauty line consists of skincare with a floral focus. The rose, hibiscus, and condola products are available online and in stores with prices ranging from $7 sheet masks to $38 serums. Professional makeup artists and students can now subscribe to Kat Von D's Pro Program. Launched earlier this month, the program unites makeup artists in their support of cruelty-free beauty. The program is free and features member benefits such as early access to professional products, access to member-only experiences, and a 30% discount. Also, the first 5,000 members will receive a limited edition welcome box that contains exclusive merchandise and two full-size products. A portion of the proceeds from every pro program order will be donated to an animal rights organization, and this year, it's Mercy for Animals, or MFA. Kat says, I've learned so much from MFA about how awesome and important becoming vegan is for animals, for humanity, and for the planet. Walgreens has teamed with YouTube influencer Judy Travis, known for her popular channel, It's Judy Time, to create a signature cosmetic bag line. Six bags are included in the collection and range in price from $12.99 to $29.99. Each bag features a different design and shape and a unique pattern in either a blue or a pink color palette. Judy says, some of the designs are inspired by my Filipino roots, incorporating the smooth bamboo and the national flower, the Sampaguita. I hope you enjoy the collection as much as I enjoyed designing them. The line is now available in select stores and after an initial sellout has been restocked on Walgreens website. L'Oreal USA is hoping to achieve carbon neutrality with all 21 manufacturing and distribution facilities in the United States by 2019, and they are also going to use your organic trash to do so. After 18 months of searching, L'Oreal identified a potential renewable energy production solution by use, utilizing landfill gas, which is created as food and other compostable materials break down. Landfill gas made up of 50% methane is a major contributor of green greenhouse gas emissions, but can be captured and treated to create renewable natural gas. L'Oreal has signed a deal which is expected to eliminate the carbon equivalent of 1.8 million gallons of gasoline consumed by the company each year. So the next time you throw out those forgotten leftovers you found in the back of your fridge, think about how you could be helping make a new tube of Lash Paradise. And finally, this is the halo brows trend originated by UK teen at Hannah Does Makeup. Not bad, but personally I'm a bigger fan of YouTuber Stephanie Nicole's fallopian tube brows but that's just me. In events this week, BeautyCon NYC update. The Saturday, April 21st general admission tickets are sold out. If you still want a Sunday, April 22nd general admission ticket, you should make sure to pick it up soon. $39.99 for a single day. Two-day tickets for $59.99 are still available. Packages ranging from $199 to $1,999 are still available. Also, IMAX NYC is coming up next month, April 13th to 15th at Pier 94 in NYC. April 13th is pro only with general admission available to the public on April 14th and 15th. General admission tickets are $65, pro are $40. Both my husband and I have tickets for IMATS this year on Saturday. So if you happen to see me, come over and say hi. Let's go ahead and spring forward into this week's product showcase. Cover FX Power Play Foundation has arrived at Sephora. A modern full coverage matte blurring foundation is what they're calling it. In 40 shades, it's $44. And from Fresh, the Pink Out Loud Lip Kit includes two full-size lip treatments with a mini lip polish. It's $42. And also at Sephora, Laneige offers a limited edition version of their BB Cushion Hydra Radiance in collaboration with Chloe Kim, featuring Swarovski Crystals, available in six shades, $38. From Makeup Revolution, Ultra HD Soft Light Sparkle Free Liquid Highlighter in four shades is $29, and the Ultra HD Underpainting Correction Palette is a pro-formulated color correcting cream palette in six curated shade ranges for $42. Touch and Soul's Metalist High Shine Bouncy Cream Eyeshadow Palette is now available at Sephora. It is a metallic shadow palette with a unique jelly formula for $42. And from BH Cosmetics, It's My Ray Ray's collab is now at Ulta. It comes with the Rosy Ray nude shade in three ways, lipstick, liquid lipstick, or lip gloss. It's vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and they're $10 each. The Beauty by Pop Sugar Collection will arrive at Ulta March 11th, and here are some of the highlights. Make Me Blush Cheek Color comes in different shades to blend with every skin tone in four colorways, $30. Dawn Eyeshadow Palette or Twilight Eyeshadow Palette, each with 10 shades, sized perfectly a 
according to usage, according to them, $42. B, the Boss Lip Gloss with a blend of shea butter and soybean oil and a signature creme brulee flavor in 10 shades for $18. Make Waves Liquid Metallic Eyeshadow has a dynamic mix of shimmer and color in six shades is $23. And the Just Enough Tinted Moisturizers formulated with blueberry oil, green tea extract, and hibiscus oil comes in eight shades from a light to deep, and it's $35. Cover Effects Glitter Drops are ultra concentrated and customizable in three shades, $44. The Bare Minerals Desert Nudes Collection inspired by desert hues and the scintillating reflection of crystals is also at Ulta. Three-piece mini Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer Collection, $20. Desert Nudes Eye Palette has eight shades of wearable ready eyeshadow, $34. And from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Amrezy Highlighter features a universal shade of highlighting and a luxe compact with a mirror for $28. Powder Bronzer has a finely milled formula that creates a buildable matte traceless finish in six shades, also for $28. The Viseart Theory Collection has arrived with Absinthe and Siren, $45 each exclusively on Muse Beauty Pro. Siren features a selection of fiery hues and Absinthe is a modern mix of greens. Guerlain at Saks is featuring the Terracotta Collection. Terracotta Kiss Delight Balm in Gloss is infused with hyaluronic acid in three shades, $36. Terracotta Rev de Te Tinted Skincare Jelly moisturizes skin and leaves it looking naturally tan for $48. Terracotta Light Powder features a unique blend of sun-kissed tones for $55. At the Bobbi Brown website, the new Capra Nudes eyeshadow palette offers nine shades inspired by the La Dolce Vita look, $75. Heads up, drugstore is coming. Sleek Makeup's Distorted Dreams highlighting palette takes you to a place where two powders and three cream formulas make you glow with a kaleidoscopic sheen, according to them, $14.99. Flower Beauty brings you the Babe Alert set with bold essentials for lips, cheeks, and nails, plus a shimmer and strobe highlighting palette for $40. Glow Getter Liquid Illuminizer is packed with light reflecting pearls in two shades for $13. And from Black Radiance, the True Complexion HD Corrector Collection lets you customize with four color correctors and four concealers in one set for $19.99. From Iman Cosmetics, a luxury highlighter multi-use highlighting stick illuminates the skin in three shades for $10. Luxury Matte Lipstick has a non-drying texture in 10 shades, also for $10. Luxury Concealing Foundation has a full coverage longwear formula in eight shades for $16. And from Essence, Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup is a medium coverage foundation enriched with a vitamin complex and cranberry water in four shades, $6.99. Haven't heard of that one in a foundation before. That's very interesting. Moving on to QVC, two from First Aid Beauty this week, a three-in-one super fruit color correcting cushion incorporates blendable color correcting pigments with dragon fruit, kiwi, and blueberry extracts, $36 plus $3 shipping. I guess fruit is in this spring. And the Hello Fab Vital Greens Face Mist is formulated to help quench, cool, and nourish skin, as well as set makeup, $18 plus their $3 shipping. And from Bare Minerals at QVC, Gen Nude Powder Blush Duo with Blooming Blush brush in either pink mauve or beige peach, $36.98 plus $3 shipping. And then last one, the Crystalline Glow Highlighter Stick Trio is formulated with shea butter for ultimate comfort in three duochrome shades for $53.96 plus their $3 shipping. In Indian cruelty free news this week, Lethal Cosmetics has had a busy week with the release of 12 new. Now follow along it gets complicated. The 12 shadows are available individually for $6 each, or check the site to see the shades divided into the Hysteria Collection or the Alchemy Collection for $36 each. Then we have the Synergy Palette, holds up to 12 pressed shadows and is currently available for $12, but is offered free when ordering 12 eyeshadow pans, or have it all as a bundle for $84. Got that? Good. New brand alert, Nubia Beauté is a cruelty-free brand and their first product up for grabs is the Flossy Palette, inspired by the beautiful cultures of ancient Nubia, reflecting the bold sun-kissed Nubian kings and queens with 12 shades in matte and shimmer satin finishes for $27. Two new palettes on deck for Pure Cosmetics and one is a collab with BoxyCharm. This palette has seven mattes and five shimmer shades for $36. Next is the Visionary Palette containing 12 shades to help you spend more time on your hustle and less time on your makeup, according to them, $32. Both palettes are cruelty, talc, gluten, and animal byproduct and derivative free. 
A new brush sensation was released this week by Beauty Creations. The Liquid Sparkle Brush Sets has six brushes each and are available on either rose, peach, or silver. JD Glow added two new holiday-themed glitter tubes to their site, Jam for Easter and Patty for St. Patrick's Day. Each is highly pigmented, long-lasting, fast-drying with a built-in glitter glue, transfer-proof, and uses cosmetic-grade glitter, $8.50 each. Love Lux Beauty has released their new Dramatizer Drops. Use them alone as a dramatic highlight or combine them with foundation or body lotion for a full-on glow available in 11 shades. Individuals are $20 each. The Sparkle Drops bundle contains four shades for $70 and the Drops bundle includes six shades for $100. Deets on the site. If you've placed an order with Kristen Lee Cosmetics recently, please know that due to a family emergency, they will be closed for the next two weeks. They promise that all existing orders will go out as scheduled and urge you to contact them with any questions. And after weeks of Sneaks, the My Alter Ego Eye Kits from Hank and Henry are now available on their site. Each kit contains one Magi Matte eyeshadow, one Pressed Pearls Pearlized eyeshadow, and one Luster Lights Loose Pearls to create your own custom eye look. All are vegan, cruelty, gluten, and paraben free, available in six colorways for $37 each. Cleona Cosmetics is discontinuing some of their items due to unavailability of pigments. All items being discontinued are listed on their IG post along with this picture. Prices will vary depending on the discontinued item. And after asking for customer opinions, Clarity Cosmetics has announced that they are in fact going to remain fully vegan. Next to nothing is their newest shade of matte liquid lipstick now available on their site for $13.25. And if you're a lover of the everlasting liquid lipsticks by Kat Von D and also love the Lolita shades, then this is is for you. For a limited time, Kat Von D Beauty is offering a mini lip duo containing both Lolita and Lolita 2, currently available exclusively at KatVonDBeauty.com for $20. And then two bits of industry news, Dominique Cosmetics announces they are now going to be available to those in the UK through Beauty Bay starting on March 14th. And attention all Hoodaholics, Huda Beauty will now be available at Namie's. And here we go. Hope you're hydrated. Here comes the sneak peeks lightning round in three, two, one. Here's a sneak peek of an item coming this summer from Kylie Black Moon Cosmetics has two items coming soon. Castle A Black and Gun Metal Gray joins the Black Metals family next Friday. Moonlighter, nicknamed by What's Up in Makeup as Moon Lobster, is also coming soon. Coming March 23rd, Precious Metals 2 from Luxie Beauty. It's palettes times three for crown brush coming soon. New lashes coming to Unicorn Cosmetics in two weeks. Are they unicorns or dragons? Is a new stack in the works for Mel Cosmetics? Captions on these photos suggest that. More new shades are coming to Igneous Cosmetics in the spring. Dracula is the April theme of the month for Monster Box by the Sisters of Horror. Coming April 1st from Black Beauty Cosmetics, Saucin' On You, that's the name that we'll stay tuned to. Koki has announced four shades of Lip Poudoir coming soon. The Minimalist palette gets a sister from Elsie Cosmetics and Elsie is already testing out items for holiday 2018. Bodyography has new items in the works to capture the ultimate glow and also watch for shadow stylist crayons from Bodyography in the next couple of weeks. Finally, Makeup Monsters dropped a look at their upcoming mini bundle. This week, in deals, Dose of Colors is offering 40% off the mint collection through March 18th, no code necessary. Too Faced is currently offering up to 70% off selected items on their site. So many great deals, such as the Glitter Bomb Palette was $45, now $20. The Boss Lady Agenda was $58, now $28. And the Best Year Ever Makeup Collection was $49, now $22. At the NYX site or in-app, spend $50 and receive a free makeup bundle, no code required through March March 13th. At Walgreens on their site or on their app, buy two cosmetic items, get one free, mix and match with nail items or accessories too. Through March 24th, get free ship to store or free shipping with any order of $35 or more. Colored Rain has a great deal. All of their themed palettes, Queen of Hearts, Cheers to the Beauty, Beauty Rust, Be Berry Cute, Smoke Show, and Lovelies as a package deal with a free makeup bag. The bundle price 
is $225. All domestic orders get free shipping. And on Hot Look, the original makeup eraser is up to 48% off. Becca is up to 65% off. That ends today. And Lunatic Labs is having an early bird spring special, 10 to 60% off select items while supplies last, no code needed. Spotted on sale at Ulta, all from the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne collab. Kaleidoscope Dream Eyeshadow Palette now marked down to $19.50. The Daydream Eyeshadow Palette now marked down to $13. And Beauty Beam Highlight Palette is now $17. And the Kristen Leanne Vice Lipstick is now only $8.50. At Sephora, Smashbox Create and Transform Masterclass Palette and Eye, Lip, and Face Palette of $18 Essential Shades and 11 Duochrome Transformers was $65, now $45. And finally, the Sephora Weekly Wow deals that we have this week from Buxom, Becca, and several types of Foreo. Here's some late-breaking news we thought you'd want to know. Kylie Cosmetics has bundle deals for the month of March. It's madness! The first includes everything you see here for lips, eyes, and cheeks, plus the bag for exactly $100. Also available is the Kylighter bundle for $130 and the blush bundle for $98. Don't miss out! Christian Henderson, PhD, a professor at George Washington University, has launched an online beauty site which caters to all natural products for women of color. The site called Blook and Grun, or black and green, again, no vowels, features cruelty-free, non-toxic, and natural products made for black women by black women. In addition to the body, face, and hair selection, there are items for baby and sections for home, jewelry, and self-care. Henderson commented to the university's publication, The Hatchet, supporting black and green and supporting the artisans is really supporting women on their journey to find happiness and do the things that fulfill them. L'Oreal will unveil its personalized skincare service called Custom Dose at Fast Company's Grill in Austin this weekend. Developed by L'Oreal's technology incubator in partnership with L'Oreal-owned SkinCeuticals, Dose is a state-of-the-art service engineered to scan and evaluate customers' unique skin needs and combine active ingredients into a tailor-made corrective serum. Dose acts like a mini skincare laboratory, combining lab-grade formulation and factory-grade manufacturing into a machine that sits on the counter, said Guive Bob. Baluch, a global vice president of L'Oreal's Technology Incubator. Jared Blandino sneaked that he's working again with Candy Johnson on another upcoming project. And Whole Foods will be launching its 2018 beauty bag and annual treat available in store only next week. And finally, while we're talking about grocery store chains, we don't have a Harris Teeter update for you this week, but another member of the What's Up a Makeup community in Louisiana shared her experience at a local Albertsons, where she found Revlon foundation that allegedly expired in 2000. Thankfully, Albertsons got back to her relatively quickly and said they have notified the store. Again, please check any makeup you consider purchasing for expiration dates. And that's it for What's Up In Makeup this week. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to the beautiful and talented What's Up In Makeup official reporting team. Their faces are scrolling next to me and the What's Up In Makeup up Facebook hunters, their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so much for all of your submissions this week. I appreciate you scouring the internet so we can provide the best information possible. And as always to Tabitha B, thank you so much for bringing it all together for me so that I have a script to present to you. Thank you so much for all your hard work, Tab. I really appreciate it. It. Have you been catching the Makeup Minute Monday through Friday? 60 seconds of news you can use. It usually goes live around noon, between noon and noon 30-ish. It's a great way to keep up with what's happening in makeup news right now. Uh, we're not putting everything in the Makeup Minute into the Sunday show anymore, so make sure you're watching those Makeup Minutes to make sure you don't miss anything. It's essential. Essential. Also, we are having our weekly live chat today. It is going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern time here on the YouTube channel. I'm playing with my quality. I've got a new webcam. We tried it out last week and it was a big major fail, unfortunately. So uh, hopefully we can get it to work better this week and we'll have a better quality image going out to you. It's not my lighting, it's my camera and I'm working on it. Unfortunately, YouTube can't keep up with the streaming of it. Uh, Facebook is fine with it, but YouTube for some reason can't keep up with it. So we're gonna be we're gonna be working through it today. So if it goes a little bit late today, if I'm not exactly there at 10 or if I have to restart it, kind of bear with me so we can figure this situation out because I'd really like to have better quality 
quality live streams for you. And of course, thank you again so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome to What's Up in Makeup. We do this every week. If you're here every week, thank you so much for being here again. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday morning or afternoon or evening, wherever, whenever you are watching. Sitting back, relaxing, drinking a cup of coffee, cup of tea, hanging out with your feet up, watching the news. Best way to do it. That's the way I watch it every week. But thank you again so much for being here. I appreciate you. Mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.